Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Empyrean. So today is going to be the mining day, or we'll soon. Uh, we're going to get a few things queued up and ready here. Look at all the biofuel we have. A little too much probably at this point, but uh, it doesn't hurt. Uh, maybe we can use it for other things over time. So uh, we got quite a few things in here. I'm just going to grab the food here for myself. Might as well munch down on that. Okay, so let's check out what we have here. So, um... We have a few devices. We have a few things that are locked, and we haven't unlocked anything, I don't think, yet in the tech tree. So we have 135 points. Probably time to look into a few things to unlock over time. Portable work lights, nice. Multi tools, great. Uh, you got an ore scanner, something completely new. Apparently, there's underground uh, ores you can find. So that's that's really cool. I'm kind of uh, intrigued to see how that works. Uh, some weapons, uh, assault rifle I like. There's an assault rifle MK2. I'd recommend that probably if you can make it, uh, just because of ammo reasons. We probably can't right now, but well, maybe who knows? Uh, light armor. Uh, that's something s more new. I don't know if we had light armors and stuff before. Um, I'm pretty sure it is somewhat new, though. Um, and then you have miscellaneous, so uh, portable constructor, might as well do it. Portable heater, it's just, it's done for later if you need it for whatever reason. And then you have your hover vehicle stuff, which we'll leave for now. Let's do base now. Uh, so we have an O2 station. Uh, we don't really need to generate O2 right now, actually, so meh. Small generator, good for backups and stuff. Don't I'm not going to bother right now. You got your plant grow light, which is kind of useful, but we have lots of vegetables in the area, so I'm going to ignore it for now. Uh, we got a sentry and cannon turret. These are kind of cool. This one's for players, so they only shoot players. Maybe mobs, I'm not sure. Uh, you got the food processor, though. That will be useful. And armor locker, this is something new. I think this is... Uh, Requires for dressing and undressing suits as well for adding or removing booster suits and can be st oh Okay, so maybe this is how you equip armor now Allows you potentially restore uh, durability when worn down tools weapons. Ooh, a repair station That's cool. I'll unlock that too ventilation uh, Device for using oxygen needs oxygen tank to operate important if you deactivate blah 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 be lost Oh, that's cool. So that's like kind of like an oxygenated type place uh you got an mk2 solar panels i guess they call them solar panels and these smaller so i believe they're like flat instead of angled kind of hard to tell from the two pictures but uh and then there's force fields that's a whole new feature to the game uh which i think is really awesome uh we'll eventually get into that of course but probably not right away apologize my sump pumps running in the background uh there's a portable called work light too we can unlock we can unlock the tier 2 drill because it's only level 7 don't think we can make it yet, unfortunately, but it might be worth uh, at least investigating that. Okay, I think we're ready to go uh, to get started here. So we'll, we'll see what we can make priority-wise anyway. So let's start with... Uh, let's start with devices, wherever that is. Okay, here you go. So drill, we're definitely going to need. So we'll have that started. Uh, you can see the MK2 drill is not even in here. So, well, I guess we're not going to use that. Now we want that armor device. Uh, armor locker is made with this here. So you might as well get that done. Uh, then I'll say let's do armor just because it makes sense doing it right after. Then we'll do the visor if we still have stuff left. Then we'll do... Um, I'm just deciding what I want to do. Then we'll probably do large constructor because I think that'll have a bit more use. And then eventually, probably the fridge uh, will have a use. And then anything else we want to do, just like because it might be useful to do it at that time. I think I'm kind of happy with most of what we've decided here. I'm sure there's other things I might want or need, but I'm pretty... Uh, detect ore deposits or POA on the HUD radar. Max range, huh? Might be worth crafting that just to see what that's like. There's also the gun and ammo, right? But I don't know what the nitro clue something or other is. What is that made out of? Plant fibers, apparently. Interesting. There's so much different stuff in here than I remember. Uh, well, we can try making. I mean, it might be worthwhile to make a gun. Oh, you can't make the rifle in here anyway, so. That's a pistol round. Ah, uh, okay. Pistol round might not be a bad idea, to be honest. Let's just do that, and we'll see what it comes up to uh, in the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some sleep, and uh, let's check out the next day. 
Good morning. Okay, so uh, let's see what we have done here. Uh, wow. Did everything get crafted? I think so. That worked a little bit better than I expected. So armor locker is probably the first structure I'm going to place down here. So this looks pretty cool here. We'll put it in the corner here. Uh, I don't know if this uses energy. Hopefully not. But uh, uh, we have 28% battery. Not a lot because we've been not hanging around the base. And from what we've learned, you have to be kind of at the base. But uh, here is the armor locker. So this is your armor. Oh, wow. Okay. And then you got boosters. We don't have any kind of boosters. I guess these are things you earn over time, but you can put them on here. And I think I recall this slightly now. It was a long time ago, but uh, look at my armor, though. Like, the armor adds all this stat, like max speed modifier, acceleration, jump height modifier, uh, jetpack usage. Like, this is really good stuff. Uh, so max speed multiplier. I mean, this is light armor. Does that mean it adds... Food consumption rate is at 144. Stamina consumption rate is 121. Fall damage is 0 0.4. So those max speed multiplier, 0 0.85, does that mean it's, it times it? No, I don't understand that quite. I assume this is better, but like it's hard to know. It's kind of weird. Uh, this thing is going to be interesting. Then we got a gun with some ammo. Awesome. And uh, what else do we got? We got our fridge. Let's put the chainsaw away right now. We don't need the chainsaw. We don't even need these blocks. The flashlight's kind of useless though, to begin with. Uh, you got your large constructor, of course. Uh, we got this aura scanner. I don't know where... I guess it's just, just shows, period? Or I don't know, really, so... Um, let's put you like this. I'm not quite sure how this works. Because it's like... Can reload it anyway, sir. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how the visor works, my friends. I... Probably should look it up. Um, let me I'll do that quickly. My internet's really lagging right now, so it might take a while for it to actually load up. But what it, was it called again? Okay, so ore scanner. Uh, impure ore scanner. Let's see what they say on the wiki, anyways, here. Okay, put you down there. Let's go ahead and uh, put all this other... Or scanners primary function is to locate ore chunks, deposits, as a result of 701 introduce a new mining system. A player simply has to put it in their inventory when the drill or drill or chunks will be highlighted in blue if the player is over a deposit. Oh, okay. So it's simple. Okay, what looks like uh, the console on this? It kind of looks like this is the console. And I kind of want it here anyways, just because it kind of meets the, the area. Okay, and then there was a fridge here as well. And I wanted to put the fridge... Uh, let's put it near the door, just a little easy accessibility. Nice uh, amount of storage in there. Okay, so uh, we're going to try out... Uh, let's turn this off. Let's see how bad my power usage is going to be used. Uh, B. So current output is 96. It's, it's of course gaining up. Average 157, blah, blah, blah. So uh, we have to see what consum consumption is going to be like. So we'll per turn on the main power and we'll see how bad it is right away. Uh, so consumption is 30 kilowatts. Well, I think, I, I, I mean, we're not usually around at night as much, but as far as I know, uh, it should be enough to keep it overnight because I think it, it was generating a certain number overnight so right now as things are it works fine uh since we're not you know using anything in say i guess you go to devices we're not using say the fridge this second you could turn it off and that'll save us 10 kilowatts not a lot the armor locker doesn't seem to have an on and off probably doesn't use any power the large constructor oops sorry i should probably be in the right menu a uh, large constructor has uh, idle is 10 kilowatts just sitting there, right? And the armor is, oh, 5 kilowatts. And it, it doesn't seem to have an off on that one. So you can use it with no power, but at the same time, you know, it's a bit weird. Um, so at the same time here, I might as well just activate the large constructor. 
and honestly, maybe just turn off the power uh, when I don't want to use everything. So let's go back to statistics here. So we're using 20 kilowatts. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, I bet you this thing used a lot more than when you're constructing, though, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and let's get all our materials out of this. I mean, using these small ones are still going to be better in many, many ways. But... Uh, there you go. Oh, my inventory is full for once. Uh, let's see here. So we want to get all... Well, let's just get, like, the important stuff in here first. Look at all the spoiled food. So I'm gonna get like all the main stuff in here first that I know like I'll use and need all the time. Like alien parts don't rot, so might as well put that in there. Might as well put that in there. Uh, what else? The ore, the plates, the fibros, the teeth, probably purified water. I'm gonna keep that out for now. Okay. And then you got this stuff. Okay, so we can probably shove a lot of this back in here, honestly, for now. I should probably use that food up because that's what a waste, right? And not letting and using it up and then just letting it go anyway, so. Okay, so there you go. I think that'll be decent. And then uh, that should be good for that. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, I just kind of want to test out the power usage when we're running this. So I want to make an assault rifle and some assault rifle bullets. Uh, so it says assault rifle rounds, but what the hell is that? Oh, rifle projectile. Oh, okay. So you can't make the assault rifle too because you need cobalt alloy times four, which is probably something. I don't think we've actually found cobalt, so that would be probably why. Uh, so let's do this, and let's do ten of these, and let's see uh, what the power usage is while it's crafting now. 510 kilowatts right now. So we're, we're bleeding energy at this point. I mean, we have lots of power, so it shouldn't be so bad, but... Uh, because uh, it's buffered up, but it, it, it's bleeding more than we can produce, so. But it seems like, you know, the batteries store a decent amount. I don't know exactly how much they store, but uh, Empyrean Solar Battery, I guess. I'll just look it up and see if that's the right terminology for it. I think it has a different name, but. Uh, solar panel block, solar panels. Let's just type in wiki, I guess. Maybe we should look up the name, huh? Uh... Capacitor. Ah, here it is. It found it for me because I was an idiot. But anyways, uh, stat-wise, we should be fine anyways. Like I said, power left, 27 minutes of crafting. So if we were to continue to do this for a whole 27 minutes, we still have enough power. So not as bad when you think of it that way. So I might... Well, no, you know what? It's not bad to have multiple weapons anyways. Let's say I might as well just get rid of the, the one weapon, but you know what? Why don't you have just both weapons? Okay, the capacitor, blah, blah, blah. It does not say how much power it holds. Apparently there was a limit of one capacitor back in the before, but that was removed. Okay. No, no information I can find right now, but there you go. So we got ourselves a rifle now and a bunch of bullets. Oh my. Okay, we're ready. So I think we're going to walk a bit just for now, just to see. I'm just curious to see uh, if we can find any kind of ore. Actually, I don't want to do it around here. Never mind. I lied. The last thing I want to do is find ore like right here. Because it would look really ugly to drill holes all over the place anyway. So we got iron, copper, and silicon. Isn't that like literally the three main ingredients we need right now? I feel like that's a little horrifying coincidental. Oh, you're ready for this? This is going to suck. Oh, there it is. Um, you're going to have to make sure you don't get stuck down there. Because we don't have a, a jetpack or a drill or... You just dropped your own. <laughs> okay, let's look at controls. Is there a crouch? No, I don't think there's a crouch. If there is, I'm missing it. Like, I, I'm not noticing it or... There's a shoulder light, things like that. I mean, I could have missed it accidentally because I kind of... Oh, here it is. I thought at first it wasn't working, so...
Oh, it's actually going to my inventory. Even this one automatically goes in your inventory. Awesome. There you go. So there's a rock drill and then there's like a terrain drill it seems so. You use this to get to the iron faster I hope. I hope that isn't iron like it like it's just like blended in. I assume iron looks a bit different. Let's uh, try with the ground drill. Oh sorry rock drill. It's not even working at all. Oh! It says, used for removing terrain and mining ores from the ground. So this is for the above surface stuff. This is underground stuff. Oh my goodness, I'm a derp. Okay, so well, we know that now, but... I was really confused there. Like, why isn't it working? It also says it does not pick up, uh, it does not automatically pick up the orb, but of course we know it does now, so. So, yeah, good luck getting out of here. I just realized, ooh, I think these are already done. I just realized I probably should, there you go, arm myself just in case if something falls in the hole or something while we're mining. There we go, there's the iron. Yeah, so all the texture is very different than it used to be. Cool. I'm not quite sure what my compass is doing. It shows west with a lot of bars on it. I wonder if that's... Uh... By the way, is that yellow? Is that the sun or... No, oh, that's our point. Or something else. I'm like, what is that? Yeah, I'm not sure what that red means. I hope it doesn't mean something's nearby, because that would suck. So there you go. We've got six iron. Eh, not a lot. slower than I remember to be honest. Then again crafting doesn't seem to use as many materials but maybe I'm just crazy too right so. Okay. 
We're getting some, but it, it's a lot slower than I expected. Whew. Guess it's more incentive to upgrade to the uh, next drill as soon as possible. I mean, we're still getting more than we would have just going and getting rocks and stuff, but it's definitely a lot different than we expected as well. If you do it here, it's really a lot when you go in the middle, but I like doing the outside too, so you gotta kind of expand it, right? So, And if you go in the middle, it's not like you're gonna get tons either, because it's, it's kind of like probably because it's worked its way down there, so it's ready for like a notch, basically. You have to almost pretend like if this was all missing, there's like these like perfectly placed iron spots all over it. It's not quite that way. So when you start seeing the train sinking, it might have already taken a bunch of that and brought it down. So when you go in the middle here, it's like it's really fast, but then over time it slows down again. It's something crazy like that. Okay, so I think our next task is trying to the hardest probably out of all this is going to be to dig a hole out of here. Unfortunately, due to us putting a hole here to begin with, it's going to get a little harder to get out of here. I just think the other one is like, I think, 8 meters or 7 meters. This is a 2 meter range, so. It'll just make life a lot, much easier. Oh, see how painful this is with trying to escape? <laughs> Now keep in mind you are getting some EXP, 3, 4, 4, 2. You won't get a ton, but you are getting some, so. So there you go. Uh, I guess I thought it was. Are we sort of going up? Yeah, sort of. It's kind of plateaued. I think I gotta go a little higher. Well, at least rock doesn't seem to give you any XP. So this is... <laughs> we got ourselves stuck in a hole. I like that. It's going to probably take us a few minutes just to get out of here. Yeah, we're not doing a good job, are we? Wait, we have a jetpack? Oh, must came with the damn... Oh, I'm a noob. 
So we have a jetpack. I mean, it's not the most brilliant, but it came with the probably the armor upgrade, so. I wonder if we can go like this. Okay, I have an idea. Oh, so close. We could probably get a little closer like this, okay. Ah, so close. I think it's best to turn it off because it did seem like we we're getting the extra. Yeah, it looked like it went worse there. This is sad and pathetic. Hey, if we can fix this. <laughs> Pretty sad, huh? We're so close. This is so pathetic. I'm so pathetic at this. Probably doesn't help that I'm running out of stamina too, you know. Oh, we got out. Oh, no, no, no. We're not going back in. Oh, you... <laughs> I think I slid around too much. I needed to like turn off the jetpack or something. There we go. There we go. Holy crap. Okay, well at least now we know jetpack helps. That sucks a lot though to do that. Um, and then even all that, you know, we still have to get, uh, we got the silicon and copper we can get. I mean, we don't have a lot of iron. It's not like we have a brilliant amount of iron. And then we need to make the MK2 miner, which I never actually looked to see if we even have the ability to do that. I guess we can just run back quickly now and look. Uh, but then to fuel it, you need Prometheum, which gives you energy cells. So, unless there's a secondary recipe now for that, or I can take, say, solar energy and convert it, um, yeah, we're, we're kind of screwed. So, let's check here. So, yeah, here's the Prometheum pellets, which is Prometheum ore, and that's used to make something called a fuel pack, which is pr takes 10 Prometheum pellets. I assume it's the same as before. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, things here. So, and we might not even be able to make, no, we can't even make it. It needs an energy matrix, which I highly doubt we even have close to whatever that is. Let's just search with the word energy matrix. Oh, I don't think it would be in there. Energy ma matrix, so it requires cobalt. So I need cobalt, um, which, can you get cobalt on this world? I don't actually know if you can get cobalt on this world. Let's see. We can we uh, you can get only iron, silicon, copper, and promethium. There is no cobalt. So to get cobalt, you're either gonna have to get it from like say a wreckage or something like that, maybe, or maybe nothing. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we we are gonna be in for an adventure looking for that. But what we could do is make a new multi-tool. The multi-tool, though, we probably aren't going to be able to fuel because it requires promethium. Yep. So even though we make the new thing, it requires a multi-charge. And a multi-charge itself requires promethium. And then once again, the drill itself uh, requires uh, stuff. So basically for now, I guess I'll hunt for promethium because we're going to need it anyways for fuel for a ship, things like that. And then what we'll do from there is uh, we'll probably import a ship or something instead of hand build it only because i suck at hand building but we'll see um if we look on our blueprints like uh well let's see the smallest sv here they have is this one a tier 1a so it requires 180 iron ingots uh it requires cobalt on that one don't know why there you go this one doesn't require cobalt you don't want any that requires cobalt, of course. Here we go. I guess this is the tiniest, probably, SV here. There's probably other designs out here. Uh, it even has guns. 
requires 102 cobalt, uh, 76 iron, and 71 silicon. Which, don't forget, that's actually a little higher than you think. So, uh, you get 10 for 5, you get 10 for 5, you get 10 for 5. So basically, if you really think about that, um, to build that is a lot smaller than you think. Basically, it requires 50 copper, uh, you know, 30 and something iron, uh, you know, another like 35 or so uh, silicon. So it's actually a lot slow, little, sorry, smaller than you, you would assume. Uh, but yeah, till next time, I might go ahead and uh, I might put more silo uh, silicone, uh, solar panels on the roof. We'll see, just for fun, just expand it a bit. Uh, and then uh, I'll probably go and mine, you know, the copper and iron a bit more. It's going to be painful, but we need it. And then uh, we'll probably look into making, say, an SV. Uh, I need to hunt for um, Prometheum as well. I'm going to probably do that off camera because that's just annoying for you guys. I mean, all it is is looking for a damn ore deposit. Oh, I forgot we had this thing, though. I don't actually know how this thing works, but uh, shows global direction of an ore or POI on the HUD. Oh. I think I know how it works. We'll figure it out next episode. Uh, that was probably what that red weird ass text was in the chat, I'm thinking. Or the r red thing on the radar. Anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.